got David Noel from North Carolina. And he's got some pretty good flashy dunks in his breakaway arsenal, including the old windmill job. And you can talk all you want about the young Tar Heels and how good they were. I think if this guy wasn't on Roy Williams' teams this year, they would have never been nearly as good. He showed the leadership all the way. You know what I like about him, Brad? This is a guy, obviously, with pro aspirations, but as a senior, he was a team guy all year for Roy Williams, and Roy just went on and on about him at the ACC tournament with you and I. Yep. He's moving our camera cables, so let's see what he's got from the baseline. Throws up. Throws Whoa. down. Whoa. That might be that chocolate thunder backward slam a jamma thing he was talking that's about that's what yesterday. he called it that's, that's right it. i forgot about that chocolate thunder backward slam a jamma <laughs> by david noel <laughs> well here we go this is the first noel <laughs> a nice inbounds play huh on the baseline whoa the pass is tough to make from that angle you talk about having an assist in a rim rattler all on your own, and then a little dance to follow. I like David the windmill. Noel. The windmill follow through. Woo. He just sent a message to Rodney Carney, didn't he? I think he might have had a perfect score. They haven't shown it officially, but the judges were flashing tens. David Noel, round one, 60. Can't do any better than that. David Noel, he threw down the lob from the baseline to himself, the reverse chocolate slam. What'd you call that thing, Jimmy? He said yesterday, the chocolate thunder backwards slam a jam. And we saw it in the opening round. Uh, I hope he didn't uh, use everything up on the first one because that one was sensational. A 60 in the first round. Here he comes. This is actually just the next round of dunks. Everybody gets a second look here. Whoa. Well, give him two points. <laughs> All right. He got that off the clock. Off the clock again, and this time he rattles it home. It's hard just to hit the clock through the cables that are holding it up and not have it go in a stray direction. <laughs> yeah, ties the dolly into the act to finish it off. Wow. The Terrell Owens, the pom pom. Boy, what an athlete he is. North Carolina, Duke, Michigan, Tennessee, all one of this kid out of high school as a wide receiver in football. We got to give him some credit for tying in the dollies. The Colt cheerleaders in the house. That's heads up. There he did. And then went over to the pom-poms. Wow. Uh, yeah. That is beautiful. That's taking advantage of your opportunities is what that is. That was his first attempt. That one went through for two. And now he's going to have four points on this possession, at least. Holding right all your the resources. Cables. All your resources. How about the score, though? There's the celebration. So he's done Joe Horn, and he's done Terrell Owens. And let's go with Aaron. All right, David. Well, we're assuming that first junk you had was the chocolate thunder, backwards, slamma, jamma, mamma, whatever. But what's this one called with the pom? Poms he did. Oh, that, that's the T.O. special. I just want to give a shout out to my man T.O. Uh, for doing the pom pom thing. I just wanted to copy him a little bit. All right. Where where would you grade? We know we've got professionals here for the slam dunk, but how would you grade his uh, pom pom spectacular? I'd give him a 10. That was amazing. And I'm sure he would give you a 10. Let's show the pom poms. Come on, guys. Well, I'll, sh I'll give her a high nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What a tandem those two are. <laughs> yeah. That was two. The state championship in Indiana, fans oh. around the country don't fully understand. To give you an example, John Wooden said he would trade three of his national championship banners for one state title because that was the only wow. missing piece from his resume. And we're in that, that building that's been around for about eight decades. Here's David Noel. Had a 60 in the first round. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wow. I like this! Yeah! <laughs> There we go. Oh, my goodness. Pulled out the Barishnikov. Well, that was Olympic-style dunking. Talk about an athlete again. That's why everyone wanted this kid as a wide receiver coming out of high school in football. I'd still maybe wow. take him as a wide receiver. Watch this. Handspring. Stick back the landing. landing. Stuck Get the, the landing. feed and boom. Wow, Roy Williams has been holding him back all these that years. Right. <laughs> Gets a little freedom. He's breaking out, baby. Oh, my. What a job. He's with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, we saw the pom-poms. We saw the flipping, the round-off. How would you grade your form on that? Man, I don't know. I, I couldn't think of nothing to do, so I had to just pull something out there. So uh, hopefully it worked to get me to the final round. Oh, come on. You didn't think of that before? You didn't plan that? Oh, no, no. As soon as I uh, when they was like, you got one minute left, I walked back down. I was like, let's just do something dumb, man. I told Vince I was going to throw in the ball and do a flip. He, uh, he uh, got me, gave me a great pass. I don't know. 
if I buy this, guys. Let's just pull a cartwheel round off that handspring <laughs> out of nowhere. David Noel, thanks. Thank you. This time a year ago, he was still playing. He was the only returning Tar Heel that even scored in last year's David championship. Noel will go first because he had the lower score in the semifinal round. So David Noel, the senior who led the Tar Heels in all those diaper dandies, as Dick would call them, for Roy Williams this year, has come down to an opportunity to show his championship form. The high feed to himself. Can he pull it down and in? Nope, he missed it. And again, psychologically, you start to wonder, can I throw it perfect in time for the second one? Goes up and throws it through one-handed and sideways. Boy, good timing. That's hand-eye coordination. Precision. We wait on the scores. When that toss is so difficult to pull off, to place that ball right out in front of the rim like he does, he goes and gets it and sends it home, huh? Look at how far away he had to go get it with the right hand just to throw it in. That was a little wider than he probably had planned on. We've seen the backward slam a jam out of him, the barn door flip, now the alley-oop to himself. And he's going to get a 55 and a half out of this one. So now James White knows what he needs. David Noel. And he couldn't pull it off either. The hat trick. And David Noel said, whoop, I think I won. And he did. And he's with Aaron. All right, well, this belongs to you, Mr. Tar here. David Noel, the very last time you wear Carolina blue, what went into your thought process for that dunk there? Uh, for the most part, I was just trying to, trying to make one. Just get something real high and throw it down real hard. Uh, it didn't go in exactly like I wanted to, but uh, I got lucky. Some great dunkers missed some great dunks, and uh, God was blessing me on this one. James White, of course, the favorite, a lot of the guys were saying, in this slam dunk competition. When you saw him having some problems there, what was going through your mind? I was like, just keep missing, just keep missing. But I was trying to cheer him on at the same time, because uh, he's a great dunker, and I, I expected him to win this thing, too. And uh, when he told me what he was going to do, I was like, oh, it's over if he make it. But uh, like I said, God was blessing me. He didn't make the dunk, and I, I came out with trouble. Out of all the dunks you did tonight, what was your favorite? Uh, Probably the backward slip thing. I thought that was pretty creative. I, I thought I should have got a 60 on that, but I didn't. Calling out the judges, I thought you'd go for the pom-poms. I'm a former dancer. I like it. It was a good job. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I tried to like, like my little T.O. special. I appreciate that. All right, guys. David Noel, your slam dunk champion, Brad.